Minerals and metals are part of most products or objects of our everyday life. For example, take these kids playing soccer. You will find minerals in the soccer ball, in the goal arch, and also in the hoodie's zippers. Currently, we get these raw materials from mines that are usually located very far away from Europe, which leads to a supply risk and dependence on foreign markets. But did you know that seawater is also full of minerals and metals? Some of them are valuable, rare or even critical. However, they have low concentrations and to pump out the seawater and to push it through a membrane at high pressure, we would need an enormous quantity of energy, which is not yet economically feasible. But there is an industry that is already pumping out seawater. Desalination plants are doing just that to produce fresh water. Most desalination plants use what is called reverse osmosis technology by passing seawater through a dense membrane under pressure. The dense membrane only allows water to pass, obtaining high quality water. In the process, they also produce a hypersaline brine that is considered waste, but has high concentrations of minerals and metals. This is where the Sea for Value project comes in. It aims to recover these metals and minerals from the brines of desalination plants. This European project will create a multi-mineral and modular process that aims to be the first industrially viable brine mining method to extract minerals and metals in a new, sustainable way, while producing fresh water for consumption. Furthermore, this process reduces the amount of brine discharged back to the ocean. It will develop 10 new, highly breakthrough technological solutions in a multi-mineral and modular process for pre-treatment, concentration and selective recovery. The success of the project will make desalination plants a new source of valuable raw materials in the European Union while also having a huge environmental positive effect, a sharp increase in water desalination efficiency. Join us as we convert brines into valuable minerals and metals.